Nicholas here at USC Fight Night in Stockholm, Sweden. We're here with Victor Pesler. Victor, how are you looking forward to fighting inside that Tele to Arena on Saturday night? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it for, for sure. I'm pretty excited to be in such a big event and I am enjoying it. So, yeah, I'm re really uh, grateful I can be here. How do you think this compares to the other crowds you've experienced in your career? Is it, is it going to motivate you? Could it be intimidating? What do you think? Well, mm, it do, uh, well, uh, not, not, it doesn't intimidate me or motivate me at all. I, I think uh, I'm just focused, you know, to win. Uh, it doesn't matter for me that much uh, how many people will see it and uh, you know how big is the arena. Most important for me is to get win, and that's the only thing I'm focused on. When, you know, when I, like uh, I was supposed to uh, be on Fox, and now I'm just on Fight Pass, and people tell me. Okay, that sucks. You know, you you went down on just a fight pass, and I said, okay, I I don't care at all. You know, I just uh, I just want to win. That's most important for me. And who will see that this, you know, just on second place? You've been training at All Stars. How has that experience benefited your career, and how has that helped your game? It helped me a lot. I can show you. I improved myself there. I think I will. I think I wasn't be able to fight in the UFC w without, you know, preparation in All Stars. So I owe them a lot, and uh, and I appreciate their care. So yeah. Do you still live in the Czech Republic? Oh yeah, I live there, but I I uh, I travel a lot for training. I spent maybe last year I spent maybe five or six months. Out of out of uh, out of Czech Republic, yeah. mostly here in Sweden. Last month we we've been uh, uh, in San Diego with Alex. So yeah, I I travel a lot to get the good training. You ranked as the number one heavyweight in your home country. How is the MMA scene developing over there? Well, uh, it's actually quite quite small there. Uh, it's you know it's. It's not a big, it's not a big sport in Czech Republic, and that's actually why, why I, why I travel so much, you know, to get to proper training. But it's getting better, I think. Uh, it's getting better, uh, and I think one day uh, it could be, you know, uh, it, could, it could be equal, equal to other countries. You fought in Konstantin Erokin at the weekend. What are your thoughts on him as an opponent? I think he's a great fighter. Uh, I think he's very good. He's, uh, he beat some some big names. Uh, he's great, uh, great punching power. So yeah, I, I respect him, and, and I'm really excited to test myself against him. You're much taller than he is. I think he's just under six foot. How much do you think that will play into this fight, and how much of a factor will that be? Well. I think he's used to it, you know. He's he's an heavyweight and uh, he's quite short for heavyweight, and I think he always fights uh, with taller guys. So I think he's used to it, but still, it's an advantage for me, of course. But well, and that's that's true. I'm not uh, used to fight this uh, so short, short that so so short guys, you know. Uh, and it's always also quite complicated to get the sparring partner of this size because he's not a typical heavyweight. To get the, you know such a short and stocky heavyweight, it's not that easy. But uh, I don't know. We do. I think it will be fine. Do you think he's much trickier than other opponents you fought because he is so small? So, like, like that would usually be seen as a disadvantage, but as you say. You're not used to him because he is so short for a heavyweight. Does that is that kind of a spanner in the work, so to speak? Well, I'm. I wouldn't say it's tricky, but uh, well, it's not common, and it's always uh, it's uh, always good for for fighters to be uncommon in something. So yeah, I just need to be very careful. He's he big uh, punching power, as I said. So yeah, I need to keep, keep my distance, and you know, I have better reach. So we will see. Finally, prediction for this weekend: Alexander Gustafsson against Anthony Johnson. How do you think it goes down? I think uh, I think he, uh, Alex uh, should, uh, might won decisively. I think 
uh, he, you know, he has a really good cardio. He is freaking cardio. So, uh, and uh, Anthony Johnson is quite muscular guy. So I think uh, he will won decisively. Or uh, if you finish him, if uh, I think it will be in, in later rounds. But uh, Alex is winning for sure. I think. Do you think Stafson can go on and win that rematch with John Jones? Yeah, I think he could. He, he he already proved that he can beat John Jones, but yeah, it, uh, it was a tough fight f for both of them, and I guess the next fight uh, will be also tough, you know. So it, it's difficult to say. I think he might beat the John Jones, but uh, you never know, you know, in this sport, you never know. Thanks a lot for your time, and good luck for Saturday. This is Simo Plus at UFC Fight Nine, Stockholm.